the Crimson Tide returned home as the number one team, and for the first time, they take on the Fresno State Bulldogs out of the Mountain West. Any type of trickery here? No trickery. Short kick. And it's grabbed by Trayvon Diggs, who's got an alley. It gets closed with Jalen Hurts. On first down, it's Cam Sims. And Cam Sims with an excellent play on the Hurts with good blocking in front of him. And there goes Jalen Hurts. Hurts towards the pylon. And he is in for a touchdown. What a start. Excellent play by that young man. J.K. Scott with the kick. Jante O'Neal the knee. And then that for the Empty on first down. And underneath to Keyshawn Johnson, one of their top targets. Now some younger guys are going to change positions a little bit as well as they move around on this Alabama. Virgil's protected. Looking for Rice, his tight end. And they are not. <laughs> Blake Cusick will punch under pressure. Got rid of it, but it's going to be pretty good field position for Alabama on the other side. This drive starts from the 38 with a Hurts pass and a catch for Calvin Ridley. And a toss to Ed. Out in flushing. Damian Harris on the screen. Excellent pursuit by this Fresno. Blitz from Fresno State. Hurts runs against it. And Hurts has the first down into Fresno State territory. Harris on the move. On second and short. On the perimeter, it's Sims. He's got a first down. Bo Scarborough in the backfield. There goes Bo. It is tough to beat. One on one. Looking for Ridley. Incomplete. That's and great. honestly. Third and three. Hurts. Trying to make something happen. Good. The drive, the push. Initial. Tenth play of this Alabama drive is a Hale Henches touchdown. But he's back. Papanastas makes it 14 to nothing. You mentioned it. He was Rob Gronkowski's tight end coach. Tight ends are big with Brian Dable. Yeah, and again, it's just, where is the defender who's taking the tight end? They don't throw the ball much to Hent just in this offense. He's primarily a, a big outside of the end, 50 yards passing, five different receiver. He's spreading it around, and of course, the 75 yards rushing is impressive. DeJounte O'Neal takes it out for Fresno State and takes it to the 21 yards. Go back to work for their third offensive series. On the move, it's Keyshawn Johnson, the top target for Fresno, for Fresno State here. Way off target, looking for Damari Scott. Virgil looking underneath for Ronnie. So Jeremy Ritter. Pruitt told us this week. Virgil finds Scott, but short of the sticks. And that'll bring up Scott. fourth down. Substitution infraction, 12 players on defense. Five-yard penalty, replay third down. Nick Saban looked like he was trying to... A lot of movement on both sides. Offside, number 49 defense in the neutral zone, causing a reaction by the offense. The five-yard penalty results in a first down. It was third down and five, so... Ronnie Rivers... A true freshman from his second year as the starter for the Bulldogs. Screen for Scott. And a first down for Damari Scott. And more. Staying in bounds into the red zone. Yeah, obviously the pace has been picked up now for Fresno. Rivers. Stacked up inside the 15. Josh Hokett, who had a productive week one, takes it close to the... 
Virgil. Will he make it? No. This fall. From 27. Kentucky, he gets when he shut them out, he wanted to see what kind of a performance they came out. Right now, not a great start to that quarter with that drive. Damian Harris in the backfield. It's a misdirection, and Harris runs it for four. Bulldogs are offsides. To the edge for Jerry Judy, his first career catch. That's on this Alabama roster. Offside, number nine defense. The penalties declined, result of the play is a first down. Beg your pardon, out of Florida, in the mold of an Amari Cooper. Harris gets hit by Allison. That's a matchup AB uh, wanted defense, to see. It's number nine, Jeffrey Allison. Allison makes the tackle on Q. Bulldog blitz. Hurts finds Ridley. Like he was running down the sidelines. Just an excellent route by that young man. Underneath, it is Ridley. Tackled by is Bo Scarborough trying to be the chain mover. Attention set, gotta like that. Scarborough makes a man miss. Yeah, Bailey's 225, but you know, for a running back his size, he's got some nice feet. Scarborough again, first down again. For the number one team in the country in a 14-3 lead for the time. First down from the 12 for Alabama. Scarborough shifting. Jalen Hurts into the equation. Here he is. Touchdown. Jalen Hurts carving up this Fresno State defense. Papanastas on for the extra point. Jalen Hurts already. On the return, it's O'Neal. Goal on their left. During the return, they look a block in the back. Number 87 return team. Half the distance to the goal for the spot of the foul. First down. Only made tougher. For Fresno right here again, he'll be in the slot like Rocky said, or he'll be blitzing off the edge. Good tackle made. Rivers has the first down. Not on first down. Virgil way off target for Johnson. Scott underneath. Harrison made the initial contact. change, see if they can get one off. Bringing heat late. Underneath a first down for Rice. Jared. Scott, typically a receiver running out of the backfield. And Ronnie Harrison. Virgil, and that double move incomplete. Rocky. High snap. Virgil trying to recover it. Still loose and recovered by David Patterson. That hit there, but again, snaps way over his head, tries to pull it down. A lot of speed, guys jumping on top of him. They get the ball back, so at least they can punt it away. On the move, Diggs. And they'll start this series. By law. First Alabama pass is a completion to Robert Foster. Close to a Lazy first down. motion. Interesting passer, but he can definitely throw it. Another catch for Ridley. It's a first down as we check. Tonga Vailoa under pressure. Still on his feet, but ends up eating it back behind the 40-yard. Najee Harris on the move. Third and 15. Slinging it. A little short. First punt of the day. Trying to pin Ronnie Rivers and does at the seven. Uh, last week, and they're off to a great start against Pitt. And then that Oklahoma-Ohio State game will, will shed some light on a lot of the team. Virgil. Underneath, and it's Keyshawn Johnson. For a first down, 51 to Maryland. Next week, Texas goes on the road to take on the USC Trojans. 
Virgil. Good catch by Kyle Rittering, the tight end. He's got the first down bit for this Fresno State team. Rivers. Took him about three. Setting up that bubble screen. And Johnson able to break a tackle. Virgil under pressure. Throwing it deep. Diving attempt by Jameer. They had to do a full 180. Excellent concentration. Just wasn't able to pull it down. Defenders right on top of him. But again, flushing the quarterback out of the pocket. Virgil's not a guy uh, that wants to have that kind of pressure. Dylan Moses, number eight. Blake Cusick punts away. And out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Do it together with Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator. Design quarterback run. First down on the quarterback run. Well, on favorite a... receiver on the bottom, Calvin Ridley. Looking right there. A lot Jared of the different Brown. things you can do on defense because he's so versatile. Foster on the sweep into Fresno State territory. Hurts on the move. Another great run for Jalen Hurts inside the 20-yard so line. There's no question. There's a lot of open receivers versus Florida State, but this football team definitely has done well with them. How about the speed of Ridley inside the start chomping at you inside the tackles and making plays. Harris with the cut and the push for the touchdown. All the guys that block, especially receivers, freeze it. Look on the outside. He's going to come up. Great block by Cam Sims. And this is the difference between a lot of teams is will you go out there and everybody do their job? And that's the level of play from everyone on offense and defense. 28 to 3. Brian Dable can bring to the table is just give him a little more focus on pre-snap reads. Seeing the defense, understanding what the concept is. A lot of their pass, and it's good enough for him to get them to that national championship game. But if we look back, the two ways to take them over the top. Fresno State driving with Ronnie Rivers on the ground. Final team, top ranked Alabama with a 28 to 3 lead. Fresno State ball to start half number two. J.K. Scott gets us going. And a strong kick, a touchback. Virgil, the one-time Mississippi State commit, goes to work to start the half. And it is Damari Scott. Scott again. And he's got the first down. You know, Chase and Virgil does Marshawn Lynch, yep. Deshaun Jackson. So there's been some big-time names coming out of his offensive playbook. Black Minka, Mr. Personal foul, face mask, number 29 defense. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. You know, he's, he's everywhere on the field. He's been. Josh Hokitz, who threw for a touchdown yeah. pass. Underneath for Scott. Good hit. Remember. Virgil for Rice. Threw his hand. Blake Cusick to punt. Fair catch, Trayvon Diggs at the 10. Line versus Oklahoma's offensive line, arguably the best in the country. Rocky, I think that matchup of Nick Bosa, Clemson's D-line, and Ohio State's D-line, as Harris takes it for a first down. Man, I love Dexter Lawrence and Christian Wilkins, but man for man, I think uh, the depth-wise gives it to me for Ohio State. Hurts shifting for another first down to the 36. And uh, on the outside are just incredibly long, got great length, and I think in this game versus Auburn, you're going to see a little bit about what they can do, especially Tonight against... 7 Eastern time, Clemson and Auburn. Harris again, good hole, taken down by Malik Position Forrest. In that game. Hurts trying to step away from the pressure, keeps his feet, and nearly found Sims. Good job. Blitz picked up. First down. Did he lose the football, though? Calvin Ridley, it is going to be ruled down at midfield or incomplete? Incomplete. 
Ruling on the field is incomplete pass. Fourth down. There's a couple of questions here, and I wonder if they're going to take another look at this in the replay booth. Yeah, again, you got to have full, complete grasp of the football. And again, his knee's going down. He doesn't quite have the ball pulled in. It's bobbled. you got to complete the catch. Again, see the ball moving in the hand. His knee's down. Doesn't quite ever have it. Good call by the referees. I've talked to officials about this, replay officials and field officials. We don't want cheap fumbles. So there, I, I appreciate that particular call not to make it seem like there was possession and an easy fumble. Jordan Mims, the freshman, on the edge. Ronnie. Virgil tosses. Incomplete. Minka actually huddled up um, with Beckton. I guess maybe a, a guy you played with in high school that also plays college football. Uh, Brandon Wilbur, he plays for Notre Dame. Started for the Modern, there you go. Important position player to have a guy that can do so much for you. Blake Cusick with a booming punt to flip the field. Diggs from the 31. Turns it for 10 after a and just a sophomore guys. What a better way to put yourself on the map than to come into Bryant St. Denny Stadium and have a day Jeffrey Allison is from Miami again. There's some thought that it might reach this part of the country too, even creeping up in Atlanta into Birmingham into me First down for Hertz he finds Irv Smith for his first career reception sophomore First down again for Scarborough. They managed to stay relatively dry and free of damage. They still had electricity for a good chunk of time with a lot of homes. On second down. Lobbing it up there for Robert Foster. Intercepted. It will be ruled incomplete. Could not hold on to it. Jackson. Little too much air on this pass here. And he eyeballs it. You see the safety running towards it. And again, just too much air on that. If he takes a little trajectory off that ball, he might be able to sneak it in. But seen him and chased down well by the backup safety, Finch. But Anthony, that ball's got to be to the outside part of the field where if it is incomplete. Late rusher. So Hurts runs against it. And Jalen Hurts slides smartly inside the 10 yard. Harris unable to find space. Harris down to about the third down and goal. Najee Harris and guess who? Jeffrey Allison. Chip shot for Andy Papanastas, but a flag thrown. A lot of movement before the snap. Before the snap, Glenn Gay. Offense. The offense has put up 31. Sprinkle of the Patriots offense that he brings. A pro style uh, mixture and the spread that Jalen Hurts knows now. And able to kind of to inner mindset and really true, true pass concepts that Jalen Hurts can grow and understand. And then you look at how deep they are, six, seven deep with all these young players. If they know all the positions, now they can play more. That's what the coaching staff was emphasizing, the fact that those concepts have helped these young players learn. Deep drop for Virgil here. Go back underneath. I got a hard enough time with a niece and a nephew. They're not even mine. Virgil. Oh, that was a couple of scores on the ground. One through the air. An efficient home opener thus far. Blitz from Fitzpatrick. Virgil gets rid of it into a tight window. Jameer Jordan took a shot. What a catch. I've been impressed by Fresno State overall. Yeah. They have not been scared. This is great job in the pocket. Look at his throw. That's a nice grab. And that's a big hit on the outside. That focus and be able to hold on to that ball, that's amazing. Yeah, Levi Wallace wasn't holding back on that hit. Give a lot yeah. of credit to Jim. Incomplete looking for Keisha. As a hole, only two TFLs versus Alabama. That's impressive. Out of the backfield to Hokit. And gets stacked up near midfield. 
ever since we found out we were playing in Alabama. And think about it, it's a resume builder, right? You get to go against some of the best D linemen, really show out and do a great job. It's a great opportunity for him. I'm glad he embraced this opportunity against his team. Very cool stuff from Eric. One of these big SEC football games in the conference play. Tua Tungo Vailoa is back in at quarterback. Najee Harris still on his feet. The players bouncing games. off this guy. Hard to tackle. Thick legs. One, two, three, four. He just and then he applies the hit on one of those defenders. Right back to him. Best run of Najee Harris's young Alabama career. Yeah, it's 235 pound running backs. It's just punishing. These defenders, you can tell they don't want any of number 22 right now. That was a great block by the center. just talked about they needed to get a little better from last week's performance, and they've definitely showed that today. Herb Smith in space brought down by from what i've seen from tua he's very accurate he's got a very tight spiral and i think you know ball placements everything with this kid and he's shown that he can deliver a, a nice the pass leadership through. ability of jalen hurts jk scott great kick once again ronnie oh. rivers fair catch to work on that monday night football broadcast but i will say this don't get too comfortable, Rex. <laughs> Don't get in the history of broadcasting to call an NFL game the first in 30 years. But who cares? That's first someone of her status. Well, we uh, call the Women's College World Series together. I get to see her prep firsthand. Last year. All of a sudden now you see like, some good players, some playmakers, some guys that can catch the ball. Young tail bigs. You know the athleticism they have. They'll be around quick. Well, I'm curious to see how Baker Mayfield's going to look tonight. Anthony Averett with the interception, and he's inside the 10-yard line. First career pick for the redshirt senior. But again, the athleticism on the outside. Here's Averett. Watch him in the man coverage. His eyes are inside, and he's just going to jump right in front of us. An under, underthrown ball because that safety was in position and really tricked Virgil on this play. Ends up throwing it short. That's the first turnover by either team in this game. Well played across the board, but it's only a matter of time, right? Last year, Alabama Great seemed to have for Alabama's defense. Harris trying to stretch to the edge and forced out of Tungo by Lord through the hands of Najee Harris. players on the field. Tungo by Loa to the end zone. An incomplete looking. 22 yarder from Papanastas is good. I think metrically it's the fourth toughest two game stretch for any team in the country this year. Damari Scott. Trying to beat J.K. Scott. Cutting it back. Great return inside the 40. Come into play. And complete. Looking for Jameer Jordan. Well, it's a relatively six yards easy. passing, a touchdown interception, 77 yards rushing, and a touchdown. He had a big performance. Four deep at the running back position. So be a distributor in that game. Don't go out there and try to beat Deshaun Watson. Darian Grimm with a great grab on a very nice ball from Chase and Virgil. Touchdown Bulldogs. He's basically going to run a fade. Inside, get some turn, and this is a beautifully thrown ball by Virgil. Good concentration. Look, there's not a lot of open areas here as far as windows to get that ball. That's tight coverage by Carter on the outside. But again, this team has not stopped. They've played hard. Jeff Tedford will be happy about his kids' performance regardless of the score of this football game. I had, to, I had to get one telestration I'll in today. You, I wanted good. to steal that one from you, big dog. I had to steal one from you. He really likes what Jeff Tepper's brought to the table. And I'll tell you what. Jeff Tepper was uh, was on the staff. The radio call. Najee Harris stacked up. Be a season of growing pains. But if they can knock off one of those teams, man, that's going to give them a lot of confidence. Speaking of confidence.
Nashi. <laughs> they all have a certain talent that's unique and really, really good against some of these defenses they'll play. It's Mariota. All the players laughed at him, and the one guy who kind of kind of went, huh, interesting, <laughs> was Marcus. You see the touchdowns and that both of these guys have, have had. I mean, th that's two of the best in college football as we speak. Nice toss by... Tungle I think for them it's going to come down to that defense and how does that continue to gel, that Mike Elko led defense. Harris has the first half. And you know, success. You know, he's one bad year last year, but other than that, he's led that team to some really good records. Henry Ruggs, the freshman touchdown. First touchdown for the freshman from Montgomery, Alabama. You know, just going out there and manufacturing plays within the offense. First touchdown for both to Ovailoa and for Ruggs. A simple crossing route with a little play action. You come on the outside, you know, ball placement, but again, receivers in open spaces. You catch the ball, down here. and it's got great velocity. It's humming. And I'm headed to D.C. tomorrow. Yeah, my son. I told my son to pick him, and we had him on the starting lineup. Tunnel screen here for Damari Scott from Marcus when McMurray. Play Washington next week. These teams should be calm, ready to go, and feel good about what they're doing. Oregon. This is a guy who's got some real experience now. He's got some skill. Nice run out near midfield. In the backfield, and he performed well along with those guys. There's a true freshman Jordan did last week against this Alabama defense. I'm well aware that the circumstances are different. You're playing some of the second string guys. McMarion stepping up. Too tall. Second that, down. That's, that's it's, a, you'll end up with a really funky, cool design in your lawn. That's a, that's a positive. No doubt. That's a good thing. A big hit on Josh. Hope last three are all here. So it is a relatively, again, I'm using that term very... You think Auburn's going to be good, but they're not to the end of the season. Grim, tackle, clock will Adam, a man saying so long. South Carolina-Mizzou coming up. First, Chris Cotter, my man of the studio.